What's up guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. So I am doing an updated wash and go routine. I have been getting so many questions about this since I last cut my hair. You guys know my curls were popping, popping, popping when I first cut them. It has definitely grown out as you can see, but the curls still look pretty good. I don't think they look as good as when I first cut it, but that's okay. I've been rocking with these products for the past six months now, and these are the Diva Curl products, which I bought with my hard owned coins. and. These products are not cheap by far. Contact me, Diva Curl. Call me, email me. Of course, because I have natural hair, my hair is not gonna come out super defined every single day. You know, sometimes my hair does whatever it wants to do. Some days it'll be super defined. Some days it'll be a little bit of frizz. Some days it'll be everything frizz. Some days I'm just like, girl, let's wash my hair all over and do this all over again. So yeah, let's just hop right into this video and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my updated the curly hair routine. So of course the first thing I do is hop in the shower and rinse my hair with some water. After that I like to go into Diva Curl No Poo Decadence and this has no sulfates in it so it doesn't really set up or anything but it does clean your scalp so I do really like that and I don't feel like it's harsh on my hair at all. As you can see it sort of just absorbs into my hair like a conditioner or like a cream. So I'm just going to put that all over my scalp, massage it in and then rinse it out. Next, I'll go in with the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair Deep Conditioner, and I always like to deep condition my hair for at least 5 to 10 minutes while I'm showering. So I'm just going to slap a lot of this all over my hair. As you can see, I'm just going in with it, and I'm really just going to work that throughout my hair and try to detangle at the same time with my fingers. So I don't know about you guys, but I know whenever I'm doing my hair or it's wash day, I always get shedded hair, like a lot of it. So I just slap it on the wall. I'm just going to put my hair up into a bun with a deep conditioner and shower my body. If you guys want to see my body care routine, I do have one up, so I will link that down below. So I end up keeping the deep conditioner on for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, and then I rinse it out. And as you can see, the conditioner really just absorbs into my hair with the steam and everything and it's so so soft so i'm just going to wash that out and detangle at the same time so i don't know about you guys but i cannot stop at just the deep conditioner i have to go in with another conditioner just to complete everything so this is the diva curl one condition decadence and it's super super moisturizing so i really do love this stuff so I'm just going to slap that all over my hair and I'm going to go in with this brush, sort of like the diamond brush, but I did get this from London Ivy. This is like a detangling brush and I love how the bristles just separate so hair does not get stuck in it and it makes it easy to detangle because it flexes with my hair. So I love that. So I'm just going to detangle my hair as good as possible with the brush and this is going to help separate my curls and make sure that there's no you know matted hair in the back because that's where I get a lot of mattiness and if one of your hair is matted you're not going to get popping curls. So now that my hair is detangled I am going to rinse some of the conditioner out but not all of it so I am going to leave a little bit of the conditioner in there before styling. So I like to break my hair up into a few sections and work just like that. So I'm going to be using the Diva Curl Be Leave-In and this is for texture and volume and I love this stuff so much. It's like the perfect primer before applying your stylers. You will notice that once you put this on your hair will start feeling slippery and that's when you know it's time to move on to the Diva Curl Super Cream as well as the Ultra Defining Gel. So I like to mix both of these together and use it as my styler. So I'm just going to mix that in my hands and apply it to that small section of hair and I'm kind of doing the shingling method as well as the tangling at the same time and smoothing it throughout my hair. I also like to take a brush and get the ends of my hair because this is going to help clump my curls together and make it really nice and defined at the bottom. So now moving on to the next section of hair, I usually do four sections on each side. So I'm just going to apply the leave-in and put that all throughout my hair and then again apply the super cream with the ultra defining cream and work that in as well. And I don't really have an estimate of how much product I use, I just go off how my hair feels and looks. Sort of like when you just know that your hair is going to be popping, that's just what I go by. And once that's all worked in, I do like to take a brush and clump my curls together. Oh. 
So yeah, pretty much I do the same thing to all sections on my hair. And like I said, I do four sections on each side. So I make sure that I get the product all throughout my hair, especially the back, because the back is what lacks the most moisture. It has the most frizz, so I really gotta work a lot of product in those sections. Okay, so now that I'm done that, I do like to just flip my hair to the back because I don't want that really defined middle part. And then I like to add my Curls Blueberry Control Paste, which I absolutely adore. You guys know this. And I'm just going to get my edges with this so it can be nice and sleek. Alright, so one more thing. Once that's done, I like to flick my hair from side to side and to the back. And this is also just going to help clump my curls together and make sure that there's no defined part. So this is what my hair looks like after and as you can see there's little white clumps in it but that is all gonna go away, don't worry, once it dries. So I'm definitely not a diffuser type of girl because I feel like it makes my hair frizzy so I like to go outside and air dry or just stay inside and air dry and I'm good to go. This is the next day my hair is 100% dry but I am gonna show you guys what I do at night. So pretty much I use my satin scarf, I put it over my head and I flip all of my hair over to the front and then I tie my satin scarf and I just pull on it in order to create a nice big ponytail or a pineapple, kind of hard to explain but you get the picture. And then I do like to sleep on a satin pillowcase so my hair doesn't get frizzy and it doesn't take away the moisture in my hair. So after that I pretty much take out my hair and I fluff it around, there's not really much to do to it anymore except for of course lay my edges and just fluff on my roots. So yeah that is pretty much it, I just play around with it till I get it to my liking and this is how I've been getting my real pop and wash and goes using Diva Curl products these are my favorites right now so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this updated wash and go and i'll see you guys all in the next video deuces